Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. It's a while since I showed you this AquaPlus Pet and Family vacuum cleaner from Thomas. In fact, it's more than just a vacuum cleaner. This is a multi-function machine. It will operate as a dry pickup vacuum cleaner for your carpets, your floors, your upholstery, your car, etc. But it can also be used to pick up liquid spillages, clean up the odd spot or stain. It can wash carpets and also clean hard floors. Up until now, I've only shown you this machine washing upholstery. I've not actually shown dry pickup performance or carpet washing or even hard floor cleaning. So hopefully in this video and possibly another one, I will show you the rest of the features of this machine. It's a German made machine. It seems quite solid and well made. It's quite big, but it does look a lot more modern and domesticated than some of these other three in one types of cleaner that I've shown you that tend to have a more industrial look. This looks more like your modern cylinder vacuum. I'll just quickly run through all the accessories you get included with this machine in case you haven't seen the unboxing video. You get a very long crevice tool for all your nooks and crannies, a wide upholstery nozzle with litter pickers running the full width of the nozzle. That's ideal for your upholstery, your curtains, mattresses, etc. You also get the standard carpet and floor nozzle. And again, it's got litter pickers running the full width of the nozzle. Wheels at the back, you've got a pedal, press the pedal down, that brings down a row of brushes and a squeegee. That's for hard floor cleaning. For wet use, you get the small upholstery nozzle. So that's for cleaning car interiors, your upholstery. I suppose you could do your curtains with it, um, stairs, pet bedding, all sorts of small areas and for spill pickups as well. If your dog or cat has had an accident on your carpet, you can concentrate the power using this small nozzle and hopefully remove the stain. Of course, somebody drops some wine, whatever spills on your carpet, hopefully you can pick it up with this. As long as you get it quickly, most spills should be removed with this machine. This is the wider nozzle. This is for washing carpets and hard floors. So in carpet mode, you use it like this, but if you want to use it for hard floors as well, you've got a little brush. If I can remember how to do it, it's a while since I've used this. There we go, the brush locks into place. So now you've got a squeegee and a brush so that can be used to wash hard floors. So this really is a multifunction machine. And then this is the solution tube that clips to the hose and it's got the little trigger there. So that controls the flow of solution to the washing nozzle that you're using. This is a bagged vacuum cleaner, but it's also a water filtration vacuum cleaner. So I'll show you both modes in this video. So quite large dust bags that fit this machine. The only other nozzle you get for your carpets mainly is this wide turbo brush and that has an air powered turbine so when the machine's on the brushes rotate to help deal with pet hair might work better on plush saxony type carpet such as my living room carpet i find that standard straight suction nozzles like this one can be quite hard to push but with a turbo brush, especially one that's adjustable, you can see you can open a vent to make it easier to push on certain carpet types. So that I think for me will be better on my living room carpet. This is the cleaner itself, incorporating two large wheels at the back. So it does maneuver quite easily across the carpet. And it also has two multi-directional swivel casters at the front. It's quite a robust machine this, it's well made. It is made in Germany. And I think the quality is there with this machine. So it's a large cylinder machine. It's a fair weight, but it does have a comfortable carry handle at point of balance. So to access the bin, we've got a little button here at the back and it all hinges up. This is your wet bin. So this is the bin you'd put in when you're using this machine for wet pickup, for shampooing, or if you're using it for water filtration. So if you don't want to put a bag in here, water will act as the filter. So all the dust and dirt comes into this container and is trapped in the dirty water. And then you just tip the water out instead of emptying a bag. But you do have the option of using a bag as well in this machine. And there are various filters that will require replacement or maintenance from time to time. Let's put those back there. 
but instead of this we can put a bag in this cleaner if you prefer to use a bag you do have that option and personally I think for day-to-day -day use you're better off with the bag because when you've got water sloshing about inside here you have to ensure that you keep the machine horizontal you can't really carry it up the stairs vertically because the water can come out of the container and possibly get into the motor so for everyday vacuuming I would personally put the bag in and that's the case of slotting it into here Let's just put it in so we have this little bag holder that comes with the machine and you also have a little closure there so you can close that when the bag's full before you empty it minimizing any risk you're going to breathe in the dirt and that just goes in here like so and then you can just close the container because this cleaner can shampoo carpets we do have a clean water tank here on the back now the disadvantage of this machine it is quite a small capacity so if you've got large areas of carpet to clean you'll find you'll have to empty it and refill it quite often and for me if you have mainly carpets in your home lots of carpets to shampoo possibly this isn't the machine for you you might be better off with an upright style carpet washer that also incorporates some sort of agitation because this Thomas only sprays the solution on and then sucks it up afterwards it doesn't actually scrub the solution in but it might be fine for doing your area rugs small areas of carpet and certainly it'll be okay for doing your upholstery your mattresses and stairs etc using the small nozzle so small capacity you do actually get some shampoo included with this but it's not all that easy to get hold of i've used different brands of shampoo in here you can use vax bissell other brands of shampoo as long as they're suitable for this type of machine and always dilute the shampoo according to the instructions on the bottle so um, because this is a small tank you will have to put less shampoo in so it wouldn't be a full capful of say your Bissell solution so whatever it says per litre you need to work out how big this tank is but it's not very big it's probably just over a litre I'd say so the tank just comes off I find this lid though can often just come off it would be nice if it had a clip on it that you undid sometimes this this falls off because it's just loose you've also got two holes here they just help you if you want to it makes it a little bit awkward but you can actually put the tools on they store on it like that I mean it's a bit awkward having the long crevice tool but you could put the upholstery nozzle on there or if you're using the machine in wet use mode you could you know store the small nozzle on this button turns the cleaner on and off and allows you to adjust the various suction modes. This button turns the pump on and off. You only activate the pump when you're using the machine in carpet, floor or upholstery washing mode. The cable is located here at the back of the machine. You need to pull it out fully before you start to use the cleaner. When you've finished your cleaning, there's no button to press. You just give the cable a slight tug. And as you can see, it rewinds automatically into the machine. This Thomas Pet and Family multifunction cleaner has a 1700 watt motor and measures an impressive 122 on my suction gauge. Standard vacuum cleaners sold in the EU and UK are limited to a 900 watt motor maximum. This Thomas has a 1700 watt motor and it can get away with having a higher wattage motor because it's classed as a multi-function vacuum cleaner. So the higher wattage does mean higher suction. On average, a standard straight suction cleaner would measure around 70 to 80 on my gauge. The popular pneumatic Henry, for example, measures 80 on this nearly every Henry I've tested, modern ones anyway, Henry's or Hetty's, the mains powered machines measure 80 and that's fairly average. So you are getting more suction power with this Thomas when you're using it in dry mode and of course for wet pickup and carpet cleaning it's going to give you that bit more suction to remove the dirt. But of course you don't have to use it on the full 1700 watts. Using the button on the machine you can reduce that suction which will reduce the power level used and of course the noise level. It's now time for the first part of my demonstration which will be dry vacuuming and for this I'm going to be using the dust bag but I will be showing you how this machine performs as a water filtration cleaner as well. 
but for day-to-day -day use as I've said I think it's best to use the bag so that slots in there it's a nice large capacity make sure it doesn't encroach over the sides of the machine there is a seal that goes all the way around close the lid and make sure it's clicked into position so we've pulled out the cable we've plugged the machine in pull it out some more I think quite a nice length of cable I'll put all the specifications under the video and a link if I can find one so we've got the hose attached and the hose also incorporates a little suction relief valve there and we get a metal telescopic wand friction fit just push it and twist it and then you can extend the wand to suit whatever you're cleaning high or low I'm going to start off by testing the standard carpet and floor nozzle but I think I will definitely revert to the turbo nozzle for this particular carpet but this is this will be the better nozzle to use on your hard surface floors with the brush down at the front and the squeegee up at the back so that goes on like so you'll see there's a little bracket here at the back that's your storage bracket that fits on the side of the machine that's for parking and it also fits on the back of the machine to keep it all together when you're storing it in a cupboard. So basically that's it set up for dry use. Let's put down some dirt, switch on and give it a go. That's just one fairly quick forward and back pass using the straight suction nozzle and the majority of the surface dirt has gone but looking closer there's still some of the sand showing some black sand I think as well mixed in with this bits of glitter that are mixed in with the sand but all in all you know for two passes it's not bad it was a bit hard to push forward There's actually not a lot of difference between the straight suction nozzle and the turbo nozzle. The turbo nozzle was still quite hard to push on this particular pile of carpet. On shorter pile of carpets, I'm sure it'll be a lot easier. But in fact, looking at it again, I think the turbo nozzle has done slightly worse than the straight suction nozzle. It might be better at picking up pet hair and clinging litter, but I think just the straight suction nozzle has one. I'm going to attempt to clean up the rest of this, but I'm going to reduce the suction somewhat. I think the full maximum suction is restricting the performance because if it's too powerful, it tends to just clamp down onto the carpet and you're not getting the airflow. You need airflow to pick all the dirt up. If, it, if a vacuum cleaner, and many cleaners do this, if they're too powerful and they just clamp down, the airflow is restricted so it can't carry the dirt away. So I'm going to reduce the power. I think maximum on this machine is far too powerful at 122 on my gauge. So I think I'm going to reduce it a couple of notches and attempt to clean up the rest of this.
The Thomas has removed all the surface dirt, but there may be some dirt that's got down to the bottom of the pile that it hasn't been able to remove. I probably need an upright cleaner with an agitator just to make sure. Now the carpet looks a bit grubby. There is a stain on this carpet. I don't know if you can just quite see. It's a very pale green stain. That has defeated every carpet washer I've tried on it, even my Bissell Big Green Clean Machine. I don't know what it is. Um, one of my dogs had an accident there and I cleaned it up and it disappeared and it kept reappearing. This green stain kept coming back. It's a lot better than it was, but certainly with my studio lights on, I can see it. I'm not sure if it picks up on camera, but there is, trust me, here, a green stain. And actually where I put down a lot of that dirt, it seems to have made the carpet look a bit grubby. So I will try this area of carpet anyway, using the Thomas on its carpet washing mode. But before that, I'll just try it, put down a bit more dirt, and we'll use this machine as a water filtration cleaner. To pick up dry dust and dirt using the aqua filter, we first got to remove the dust bag if fitted. Let's close that off, take the bag out, and you'll need the tank. First of all, you need to check by opening it that this insert isn't here because that's only used when you're using this machine for spray extraction or if you're picking up a small spillage because this incorporates a small float valve that cuts off the suction when full but you don't need that when you're using the aqua filter for dry vacuuming. So all we have to do, we can pop the lid back on once we know that the insert has been removed. Just pivots at the back and clicks close like that. Into the front here, we need to add one litre of cold, plain water. As you can see, I've put one litre of water in the tank. You don't have to measure it out as long as you don't go over the max fill line because max is about one litre of water. So once the water's inside the tank, place it back into the Thomas, like so, and close the lid. We can now have a look at the water in the tank. If I look at the initial filter, that's still clean. There's an additional filter, of course, underneath and an exhaust filter on this. So it seems that the water has trapped everything. And let's see, we'll open it. It's gonna be quite messy in here. Yeah, that's gonna need cleaning. I think there's another filter as well underneath all this gubbins. I just need to release it. That's it, take the lid off. So that's another sponge filter, it's washable. So that's the first filter. You can see some dirt has got through, bypassed the water filtration. But beyond that, everything is clean. So the water has trapped most of the debris as you can see. So maybe this is going to be a little bit more messy to empty than a bagless machine. I've got to now tip that down an outside drain or a loo because of the solid particles in it and give it a thorough rinse and dry it off before storing the machine away. With the water tank emptied and rinsed out, I'm now going to set up the Thomas for spray extraction cleaning. First thing we need to do is to open the tank and check that the spray extraction insert is fitted. You also notice at the bottom of the tank, there is a little filter that just lifts out and you can rinse that under running water to make sure that's clean. So that fits at the bottom. Then fit the spray extraction insert. It only goes in one way. Make sure it's fully seated. And now we can pop the lid back on. For spray extraction, don't put any water inside this tank. Okay, 
So that's all we need to do. That's set up, empty and ready for spray extraction. Just fit it back into the machine and close the lid. For spray extraction, you're either going to need to fit the small upholstery nozzle or the larger spray extraction head for carpets and hard floors. So the first thing we need to do is remove any nozzle from the end of the wand. Let's take that off there and fit the nozzle you're going to use. So in this case, we're going to use the large spray extraction nozzle. So it just pushes on. Make sure it's on firmly, just push and twist. Make sure it's on straight as well. So you can see the handle, you can always move the handle like so. And then we need to take the solution hose. It's got all a bit tangled up. You'll see there are two clips on this hose and they're designed to clip onto the extension wand at the back. So if we just unfurl the solution hose, clip the first clip onto the lower part of the wand and the second clip just here on the upper part. We then need to take the longer solution tube and clip it to the hose. First of all, take the trigger and that slides in to the handle here at the back. Just slides in like so. It will click into position. And then you can connect this part of the solution tube to the spray trigger assembly. It's a bayonet fitting. So push and twist and then clip the solution tube evenly along the length of the hose using the clips provided. Finally, insert the end of the solution tube into the cleaner. The last thing to do is to fill the clean water tank. This will take 1.8 litres of warm water, no hotter than 30 degrees according to the instructions. So you just lift the lid up, fill it with water, and the correct amount of solution. So bear in mind, this takes 1.8 liters of solution. So if you're using any other carpet cleaning solution, you need to make sure you dilute it according to the bottle. So in goes the tank with the solution and the water, and we're ready to clean. I've just cleaned a very small area of this carpet using the Thomas and it is hard work compared to using an upright carpet washer with rotating brushes but if you only have space or the funds for one machine that does it all then there are only a few options in the UK there's this there's of course the pneumatic George or the Karcher machine which I've shown you earlier the uh, big yellow and black model there may be other cleaners but those are the three most widely available, the Thomas, the Karcher, and the Pneumatic George or Pneumatic Henry Wash. They all use a similar principle with this sort of spray extraction nozzle, to, so they just spray on, 
and suck up the water instantaneously. So the best technique is to go slowly with the suction on maximum, with the pump turned on, you squeeze the trigger and then pull the wand slowly over the area and then overlap your strokes, do another area until you've done about a square metre and then go over the area several times using the suction only to extract as much of the liquid as you can. To use the upholstery nozzle, first disconnect the solution tube from the spray extraction lever and then remove the wand. Then you can simply fit the upholstery nozzle directly to the handle and then connect the solution tube to the spray assembly again, push and twist. And now when you squeeze the trigger, the solution will come out of the spray here and you can use your Thomas for your car interiors, stairs, upholstery, etc. Bear in mind, this machine will not reach up a standard flight of stairs. It'll do about halfway to clean the rest of the stairs. You're going to have to move the machine to the top and work with a cleaner above you. So obviously take care when using the machine this way. Don't accidentally tug on it and pull the machine down. Just be careful and you should be able to clean a standard flight of stairs with this Thomas, as I said, half of it with the machine at the bottom and half with the cleaner above you. Before you use the machine on carpets, upholstery or any fabric, check that they're colour fast and check they're suitable for wet washing. So for example on this footstool it's okay to be wet cleaned. So for this I would just pull the nozzle over the area while squeezing the trigger. I'll do one area and then go over it a few times, suction only, to remove all the solution or at least the majority of the solution. During cleaning, if the pump starts to make a louder noise, it means the solution tank is empty and needs to be refilled. So if I remove the solution tank, we can see that indeed it is empty. And apart from filling this, we also need to empty the dirty water tank. So we'll have a look at that. Seems quite heavy. What I'm going to do, and you shouldn't do this, I'm just going to do this to see how effective this machine is at picking up the water. I'm going to tip all the dirty water back into the clean water tank. Now this was full, so if this is nearly full, when I put the dirty water in, it means it's effective at picking up the dirty solution. If it's only half or a quarter full, it means that this machine, like a lot of carpet washers I've tested, isn't all that good at extracting the liquid. With the lid off, we can see some of the orange sand and glitter that I put down previously. So obviously the cleaner didn't pick everything up in dry pickup mode, but it's managed to find more dirt when using it as a carpet washer. So I'm just going to carefully take out the insert and obviously you'd give this a rinse when you're emptying it. It's fairly foamy. It's important to use a low foaming shampoo in machines like this if you can't find the genuine Thomas solution. So I'm just going to carefully, that's pretty dirty, considering the small area of carpet I've cleaned. Wow. Bit of foam at the top. So that's not bad at all. We'll wait for the foam or the dust to settle, but foam to settle in this case. So this is where it was filled. So um, I'd say probably, if I try and hold it straight, it has picked up probably more than two thirds of the liquid. And if I'd gone over the area a little bit more using dry strokes only, I might have got even more. So the high suction on this machine is pretty effective at removing the dirty water.
After using the Thomas, you must ensure that everything is clean and dry before reassembly. So just rinse out all the containers. You can give these foam filters a bit of a rinse, squeeze them and leave them to dry. And then just leave everything to air dry before placing it back into the cleaner. It's a good idea as well to put clean water, just a little bit of clean water in the clean solution tank. No solution, just water. And then pump through clear water through the solution hose. This will help to clear any shampoo soap residue from the hose to prevent it from clogging up. So all in all, so far, it's okay this machine. It's very powerful suction. It is hard work to use for large areas of carpet. And the spray, I found the spray on the main spray extraction nozzle doesn't cover the full width of the nozzle. It's, it covers maybe you know just the center part like this where it should go like this it's like that so you do have to overlap the strokes so this is quite hard work it is a jack of all trades but a master of none but for this type of machine it is pretty good it's well made i find it's uh, pretty noisy though being 1700 watts and of course a pump makes additional noise but if you need a multi-function cleaner it is one to consider, especially at the moment, time of making this video, Black Friday month. I've seen this for just over £200. I'll put a link if I can find it. It's not affiliated, I won't get any commission, but I'll put a link to the cheapest place I found this available in the UK at the time of making this video. I was going to do a further demonstration, washing floors with this and cleaning a very, very dirty entrance mat. But as this video has gone on for far too long as it is, I'm going to leave that for a separate video. So to conclude my series on this Thomas vacuum cleaner, multifunction vacuum cleaner, I will do at least one more video. So if there's anything you'd like to see, if I haven't covered everything you want to see, comment below this video and I'll try and incorporate it in the next video I do on this Thomas Aqua Plus pet and family vacuum. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you don't subscribe, please consider doing so and click the bell icon and you'll be notified of all my new uploads. So until the next time, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.